Hey, I'm Rose to work on one more um, Pokemon Crystal. Uh, before we go to the gym, we'll talk to this guy because he's gonna give you an item. He's like, well, what's an adventure without treasure hunting? My item, my eyes. No, you're right. Oh, to each his own, I suppose. Oh, no, I gotta say yes. Oh. Well, he said, am I right or am I right? So it should be answer whatever I answer. You're right, but maybe it's a typo. It's supposed to be my right or wrong. Good. You understand the true spirit of adventure. I like that, take this with you. And you get the item finder. And you put it in your key pocket, yeah. That's where I keep my keys, but I guess an item finder is a type of key, I don't know. But obviously it means its key isn't special, but it's talking about the burnt tower and how you can find items. Basically you put it on and it'll let you know if there's an item nearby that's invisible to the naked eye. Well, no, they're not that small, but they're just, you can't see them because they're underground or something, I don't know. But here we are, Ecrity Gym, I uh, kind of was waiting that last bit to save up. We got Eagle Duck 23, unfortunately I let it die a couple times by accident, so that put its friendship down. Now I was wondering if I could teach it something. Let's see what I got. Roll out, it might be able to learn roll out. Dig, I don't know if we'll learn dig. Dig would be nice if we could learn dig. I doubt we could learn dig though. I didn't think so. Can I learn rollout? Should be able to learn rollout. It's a little ball. It should be able to roll out eh? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna teach it to roll out just because uh, the Pokemon from this gym. Um, I'm gonna get rid of. Ooh, that's tough. I think I'm gonna get rid of the same. No, Sweet Kiss, because Golbat's got that confusion. Um, so, because basically all these are ghost types, and they only know ghost type moves, which don't affect normal type Pokemon. So, for example, roll it's a good move because uh, I can kind of build it up to do more damage. So, for example, this guy here, Sage Ping, he's got a lot of gasoline. But you could spam bite on him too. You know, you bite, you die. To a bunch of gasolines, but... So see, they're not... Oh, they're going to do this cursed crap. Oh, I forgot about that. Shoot. Um... Anyway, right, let's use roll out, I guess, here. Because they have this stupid curse. I forgot all about that. Oh, and then they use mean look. Oh, that's... Well, no, I'll get it. I'll beat it here, and then I can actually escape. Mean look only lasts until that Pokemon is gone. Same with the move Spiderweb, which is only one by Eridos, which, by the way, I found an Eridos from that route south, um, where the uh, where I found those uh, Stadlers. I also found Noctowls there, and those will be only at nighttime, them and the Eridos, but they're good experience, too, so that's a really good spot for experience there. I'm just going to go to gold bat. So I didn't want to obviously just digi, had dizzy punch as a normal type move. Now the path, let's see if you just move up somewhere and you might fall back to the beginning. If there's a path, you want to like stay within these two Pokeball statues and then you want to move up to the next trainer and then you'll move over to the next Poke statue and then move up in that sort of order. If you can't remember the Poke, um, where the statues are, they're in line vertically with the uh, the space to the inside of the trainer, so you can always just go to the spot one inside of the trainer, then move up to the trainer, then go all the way across, and that's how you can kind of work that way. So hopefully it doesn't use curse, but it does. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the worst part, especially when it misses. But, uh, I'll just switch out, I guess. This idea is not working quite as well as I thought it was going to, but, anyways. These things are stupid, and I'm like, like, I've seen, yeah, this is what I was thinking. And it just uses curse again. And they're really not too smart about that. <laughs> because obviously now that the curse, see, even if Iglybuff is still out there, the curse would work again, so I don't know why it's using curse. Basically, it takes, but curse on the, on the flip side, which would be good for it, is every turn it get rid of cord but all it takes is for me to switch out and then they've killed half of their health so I don't really know why it's good although if you do teach curse to a Pokemon that doesn't isn't ghost type then it um, um then it uh, lowers speed by one level but then raises attack and defense by one level which is sufficiently better so I don't know why you wouldn't want that instead um come on roll out be enough be enough no, not quite, okay. I just didn't want to get hurt by the curse there, and that's not good. I'm trusting rollout to work. Thank goodness. Okay. Do 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 
Uh, that's the only bad thing about rolling, I guess, is that I actually can't do nothing about. Um, once I start rolling, I can't choose anything else. If I'm being cursed, then I gotta wait till I beat that Pokemon before I get a chance to switch. This guy, Jeffrey, he's got one Haunter. They don't use Mr. Evis in this gym at all. Not really sure why, but... I guess that's pretty nitpicky, because it's still a great game. I like it. I never beat it. I'm still in the Kanto region somewhere. Anyway, so move over laterally up to this person, and then you've got to move um, to the inside of the two statues standing by Morty. Those are the two spaces you can move up onto, but I'm going to heal before I go there anyway, so then I can show the full solution that I've really been talking about the puzzle, because this puzzle stumped me when I was little. And I, I don't even remember how I figured it out eventually, but I think I just got sick. I'm like, okay, let's just try to at least battle these trainers, and then I was just kind of moving in that direction, so. I'm pretty sure that is the only way you can move along, but. I just don't understand why why they make it so difficult on you. They did change it like a lot in Heart Gold Cell Silver where there is a path and then you just gotta make sure you don't fall off it, but anyway there's this hotter here. And let's use Ember on it. These ghost Pokemon have pretty low special defense. So Ember still does a good chunk of damage. I forgot I was being cursed. Despite this move, as you can see. Amber's uh, power point usage is gone by three. Not bad for a move like Amber, but it's it's a little struggling to say when you're when you don't have ethers and uh, elixirs, things like that to help you out with it. And then it, it gets more of a problem, but but the, and that there's no Pokemon Center nearby or something like that. But I don't know, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but grudge is really what gets you. Is they don't know, and none of their Pokemon no grudge in this. But that's if uh, you put it on them, and once that person knocks you out, then the move they use to knock you out with loses all of their power points. So that can get annoying if you're kind of relying on one move for a gym leader battle, and then they do that. But there's no gym leaders that do that, so don't worry. So I'm just going to go back out here so it's quicker, so I have to walk the whole path back, and then heal, and we'll take on the gym leader, and then that'll be it for this episode. Doo -doo. I love the Epic City music. I love the Violet City and the Olivine City music. That's, it's the same music in the Olivine City. Which we'll be getting Olivine City shortly, actually. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is the best Pokemon Center music, too, right there. I don't. I didn't like. Oh, the one they redid it in Hard Gold Soul Silver. It, it sounds too. I don't know. Joy. I don't know. That's, just, that's the perfect Pokemon Center. So you see, you just gotta stay in line with those statues. And here, you just wanna be inside those statues. Oh no, you can't go in that square. I thought you could go in that square. My bad, you gotta go um, on the spot that Morty's standing on. Okay, there you go. I don't know why I thought you could move onto that path. Um, let's make sure we're good to go. I'm gonna start with. I'm just actually gonna start with Golbat. Just because she starts the Gasly, that should 1k. Oh, thingy. One hit KO. Yeah, there we go. Anyways, it said that a regular Pokemon will come down to appear before tree power trip. I believe that tale. So I've secretly trained here all my life. Secretly, eh? He just told me, though. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more. A little more. I can see the future in which I meet that Pokemon on rainbow colors. They're going to help me reach that 